We hear all the time the things that we should be doing to keep our teeth healthy and to keep our smiles bright. But what are the things that we are doing that are destroying our teeth or not healthy for our teeth? Stay tuned. We're going to talk about those things as I cover the 11 habits that are actually destroying your teeth. Okay, the first thing that you could be doing that could be destroying or harming your teeth is brushing too fast or too hard. That's right, you heard me correctly. There's a common myth that if you brush really hard or really fast, you must be getting your teeth extra clean. That, my friends, is false. Slow down on your brushing, be methodical, be gentle, and here's why. If you brush your teeth too quickly or too hard, you could be causing what's called enamel abrasion. That's right, that's a small wear pattern on your enamel. That's not healthy for your teeth. Furthermore, you could be causing a traumatic micro injury to your gums that can lead to gum disease. They might never heal from repeated, constant, hard, aggressive brushing patterns. When you brush your teeth, you need to, to slow down. Get those bristles between your teeth. That's a common place that bacteria like to hide. Also, brush your gum line. That's where the bacteria line up along your teeth. Also, make sure you're brushing the biting surfaces of those back molars. Those folds, those grooves that we call fissures can be hiding the bacteria, so slow down Give your toothbrush a chance to get to the places that matter the most. The next thing that can be destroying your teeth is drinking soda, even diet soda. That's right, although most of you probably already knew that. Why is this? Why is soda harmful to your teeth? Soda contains lots of sugar and even diet soda contains lots of acid. Both are harmful to your enamel. Bacteria love sugar and they love acidic environments. Both of which soda provides, which can produce dental decay in cavities. So if you're drinking soda, even if it's just one a day or one a week, you are creating a harmful environment in your mouth. Stop it, or at least slow down the soda drinking. The next thing that is destroying or harming your teeth is snacking or eating on sugary snacks throughout the day. Here's a common myth with this. Oh, if I just eat a little bit at a time throughout the day, it's gonna be fine. Here's the truth. Decay and cavities are not necessarily related to how much we eat of our sugary snacks. It's related to how often we eat them. For example, if you take out a bag of M&Ms and you're just popping those M&Ms one or two at a time throughout the day, you are doing way more harm to your teeth than if you eat the whole snack in one sitting. That's right, remember, dental decay is related to low pH. Think sugar, think acid. And therefore, the more often our teeth get into those environments, the more harm we're doing. So if you need a snack, eat it. Eat it all at one time. Don't snack on it throughout the day. Furthermore, chips, crackers, other type of complex carbohydrates that are in lots of popular snacks, those types of foods can stick in our teeth, right? You know it, Oreos, they stick in your teeth for hours. What about Ritz crackers? Other saltine crackers, you eat them and then your tongue is trying to pick them out all day, right? Sound familiar? That's right, foods that stick in our teeth or common snack foods that we munch on throughout the day are causing harm to your teeth. If you must have a snack, eat it quickly, eat it at one time or make sure you're brushing frequently to get rid of those remnants that are sticking within our teeth. So. Summary, make sure you're eating your snacks at once, not popping and snacking and munching and what we call in dentistry, grazing throughout the day. It's harming your teeth and it's causing cavities. Another habit that you may be involved in that can be destroying your teeth is, it might surprise you, biting and crunching on hard foods and candies. Think jawbreakers, Jolly Ranchers, other hard candies like that, even ice can cause damage to your enamel. How? Well, think of your enamel, think of your teeth like a prism or something like crystal. When they're 
exposed to high pressure and strain, they can break. Your teeth are no different. So every time you bite that hard candy or you biting on ice every night as a snack, you can be causing, if not fractures to your teeth, micro fractures to your teeth and what we call craze lines, which can lead to fractured teeth. So if a candy or something is meant to chew or suck on, do those things, but don't bite constantly on hard things. You could end up fracturing your teeth. Okay, here's another one. Grinding or clenching your teeth. Now here's the tricky part with this one. You may be doing these things and you don't even know. Here's some symptoms. Do you constantly have sore muscles in your jaw? Do you have pain when you're eating? One of the potential reasons is that you're grinding and you're clenching your teeth. Many people will wake up in the morning with a sore, tired jaw. This is a sign that you could be grinding and clenching in your sleep. Why is this dangerous for your teeth? How can this destroy your enamel? When your teeth are consistently facing pressures that are not normal, it can be weakening your enamel. It can lead to fractures. It can lead to soreness. And soreness in your teeth and your jaws can lead to a host of problems. How do you stop it, especially if you don't even know you're doing it? Talk to your dentist. Get a night guard if you're tending to do this at night. You might even need to wear this night guard when you're at work. At times that you may be finding yourself clenching and grinding those teeth. But there are helps for it. Talk to your dentist. Thanks for watching my video today. I hope you will subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment, leave a question. I'd love to connect with you and answer your questions. Here's another thing that occurs all the time that although it may not be destroying your teeth, you're doing it for nothing and it won't help your teeth. Flossing just to get the food out. Isn't that the way that most of us floss? You get a piece of that steak in your teeth, you gotta get it out. Well, you need to be flossing correctly. If not, you're missing out on an opportunity to help your teeth. Think about this, two apples right off the tree that still have their wax coat on them. Imagine those two apples being brought together and I tell you I need you to get that wax cleaned off where the apples are touching. Well, are you just gonna take that floss and go in and out? Is that gonna get rid of all that wax? Think of the wax as like plaque. It has to be removed, otherwise it sticks to your teeth. So when you floss your teeth, you need to be going up and down, back and forth. And if you're not doing that, you are leaving behind plaque in between your teeth. So while yes, there is some benefit to getting the food out, we don't want the food to stay there, you must floss to clean your teeth. So don't floss improperly. Only going to the dentist when you have pain or, or are experiencing a toothache. After all, if your teeth don't hurt, nothing must be wrong, right? <coughs> wrong. Did you know that cavities or dental decay starts off as a painless process that you might not even know is occurring? Also, same with gum disease or what we call periodontal disease. Those things can be happening and you don't even know it. And it's important to start prevention practices or to get help early on before they get worse. Therefore, if you're waiting to go to the dentist when you're experiencing pain or discomfort, it might be the sign of a big cavity or even a bigger problem. Isn't that what we're trying to prevent in the first place? So that can be destroying your teeth and you don't even know it. Get to the dentist early, get to the dentist often. Okay, here's the next thing that could be destroying your teeth and you don't even know it. Not drinking enough water. That's right, that may be a surprise to you. We all know that drinking water is good for our overall health, but it's also imperative for your dental health. Why is it? What is it about water that helps keep our teeth healthy? First of all, most places in the US have fluoridation in their water. And therefore, the constant introduction of fluoride into your teeth keeps your enamel healthy. Also, water has a very moderate pH level. And you hear me say it all the time, a moderate pH is causing a healthy teeth or causing an environment that promotes healthy teeth. And therefore, if you're drinking a lot of water, you're helping your mouth and your oral cavity to restore its natural healthy pH level. So every time we snack, we eat, that pH level goes down. And by drinking more water, it's helping the pH to go back up. The second thing that water does, it helps to clear a lot of the 
acid, the food, the debris, other things that are not good for our teeth. It helps clear it out of the mouth so that it maintains and promotes a healthy environment. Drink more water, drink less soda. All right, all you athletes, here's another thing that can be destroying your teeth and that's playing sports without a mouth guard. Did you know that almost one third of all dental injuries are caused from a sporting event or a sporting accident? That's right, one third of all dental injuries. If you're playing football, basketball, wrestling, any sport that is especially involved in contact, you should wear a mouth guard. You can experience all kinds of dental injuries if you haven't yet, and you're an athlete or you play contact sports. You can experience an avulsion. I've seen it many times. That's the complete loss of a permanent tooth out of your mouth. Or you can experience a displacement injury, pushing your tooth back, pushing it forward. Also, you can have fractured teeth, broken teeth. All of these occur in an abundance of sports related activities when you're not getting a mouth guard. You don't need an expensive one. Go to the store, get one of those that you boil and soften and you put in your mouth for your own custom bite mark. But put something on your teeth so that when you experience a blow to the mouth, your teeth have some type of cushion or something protecting them. Number 10, waiting to see the dentist until you think there's a problem or until you feel pain. Come on, man. Do you only take a shower when you think you smell bad? That's like not going to the dentist, I promise. You're gonna have much more nastier teeth before you think your teeth are nasty. Come on, if you go to the dentist, he'll help you keep those teeth shiny and clean long before they're nasty. Okay, the 11th and final thing that is probably destroying your teeth and you might not know it is constantly sucking on hard candy. You heard earlier in this segment or in a previous segment that biting or chewing or breaking it with your teeth is unhealthy for other reasons, but constantly having a piece of hard candy in your mouth is terrible for the health of your enamel. And why is that? It all comes back to the pH. The longer that piece of candy is in your mouth, the lower the pH and the acidity in your mouth is getting, which promotes the bad bacteria in our mouth to use that sugar to cause cavities. So the worst kind of candy, the worst kind of snacks are the kind that you suck on or stay in your mouth for long periods of time. Eat snacks that clear the mouth quickly, that don't stick in your teeth, that you don't bite on. There you have it, the 11 things that are destroying your teeth and you may not even be aware of it. If any of these apply to you, stop it or change it. Do something to make your teeth healthier and you can start with this list.